Back in 2019, I thought I'd found the tech bargain of the Centuria 2TB flash drive on AliExpress for just £7. £7 for 2 terabytes? That's like paying for a small coffee and getting an entire Starbucks franchise. My brother, the voice of reason, warned me over and over. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. But me, being a complete whack, ignored him completely. I bought it anyway. It arrived in this tiny padded envelope with no branding, no instructions, just a shiny little drive that whispered, trust me, I'm legit. I plugged it into my computer, and to my surprise, it actually worked. I could add files, remove them, open them, no problems at all. I started feeling smug, like I'd just outsmarted the entire tech industry. Then one day I copied over a large video file, and boom, everything on the flash drive corrupted instantly. Every single file gone. The drive itself? Bricked. And that's when it hit me, your boy had been scammed. Here's how these scams work. Sell especially from sites like Wish or Shady AliExpress shops buy dirt cheap low capacity drives, slap a fake 2TB label on them, and change the internal firmware so your computer thinks it's 2TB. You feel like you found a bargain, but in reality, it's just a glorified paperweight with a USB connector. Fast forward 5 years, and the crazy part is, real 2TB microSD cards actually exist no end, they're not made in some dimly lit sweatshop. These tiny cards are about the size of my thumbnail, yet they can store roughly 130 hours of 4K video at 60 frames per second. That's like storing the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe twice, with space left over for cat videos. So how can something so small hold so much data? Inside, it's packed with millions actually. Billions of memory cells. Each memory cell stores either a 0 or a 1. When you plug it into your device, your computer translates those binary values into actual files you can use photos, videos, games, you name it. Each cell has three main parts, the channel, the charge trap, and the gate, separated by a layer of insulating material, usually made of silicon. The channel is full of electrons. When you apply a positive voltage to the gate, it pulls some of those electrons into the charge trap. And because the insulating layer is ridiculously thin, only about 75 to 100 atoms, thick electrons can quantum tunnel through it. That's how data is written. If electrons are trapped, that cell represents a zero. If they're not, it's a one. To read the data, the system checks if electrons are there. And in modern designs, it's not just binary cells can store up to 16 different charge levels, which means each one holds 4 bits instead of just one. These cells are tiny 20 to 30 nanometers wide and 40 to 60 nanometers tall. If you ran the numbers, you could theoretically cram around 8, 155 terabytes into something the size of a micro SD. Sounds amazing, right? Well, in theory, in reality, you'd run into all sorts of problems over heating, read, write limitations, and the fact that it would probably corrupt itself into oblivion after a week. The SD association has four storage categories. Standard capacity, up to 2 GB, high capacity, 232 GB, extended capacity, 32 GB, 2 TB, and ultra capacity, 2 TB, 128 TB. That last one doesn't exist yet. But if they ever release a 128 TB micro SD, you could literally store decades of your life on something smaller than a postage stamp. Whether you should is another question entirely. As for my fake flash drive, I never recovered the files. I tossed it in the bin and bought a proper 2TB hard drive for £60. It's a lot bigger and uses traditional spinning disk storage instead of flash memory, but it works and I don't have to live in fear of random file corruption. So yeah, moral of the story, don't buy too good to be true tech from spammy sellers. And if you ever find yourself tempted, just remember my 2TB miracle drive. If you enjoyed this deep dive into tech and my questionable buying decisions, click here to watch my next video.